It's the beautiful sound of shoes hitting the pavement in Orlando, Florida, which is how one man born with Down syndrome has mostly silenced people who've told him his whole life that he'd never accomplish anything. So what do you do when people say you can't do something? Prove your war. Chris Nikic is the first person with Down syndrome to complete an Ironman triathlon. And at just 24 years old, he's done some pretty cool things, like motivational speaking, publishing a book, and also winning gold medals in the Special Olympics. But his journey to success was far from easy. Starting with open heart surgery at just five months old, Chris has had a lifetime of challenges to overcome. But by far the most devastating obstacle was the countless people doubting his abilities and telling him he couldn't do anything. The number one struggle was a lifetime of doubters and people saying things in a nice way, but would create doubt and uncertainty. And he had a hard enough time learning new skills that every time somebody planted a negative seed in his brain and told him he couldn't do something, it made it even harder. But despite the opinions of others, Chris never backed down from a challenge and quickly developed a reputation for proving people wrong. But when it came time to chasing dreams like completing an Ironman race, his dad said having Down syndrome presented additional challenges that Chris would have to overcome. He had to put in five to 50 times more effort to learn the same things you and I have to learn. It took us six months when he was 16 of holding him constantly to learn how to balance on a bike. Chris learns very slowly because of the cognitive obstacles that he has, but he learns. And overcome those challenges he did. Through lots of hard work and perseverance, Chris gained the confidence he needed to pursue his Ironman dreams. Chris is willing to work his tail off um, hundreds and hundreds of times until he learns it. He was able to start with some very basic skills then he was able to, to add more complex skills until he could master all the skills necessary, both physical and mental, to be able to do something like an Ironman. So um, that's Chris's formula. There's no secret to it. It's just perseverance and hard work. And so after countless hours of preparation and hard work, it was finally race day and an opportunity for Chris to finally prove how capable he really is. Chris did the Ironman because Chris spent a thousand hours in, two, in, in the last year training to do the Ironman, overcoming every obstacle that he would have faced. He was prepared to finish, and so he finished. Chris never worried for a second. He was able to finish the 17-hour race in 16 hours and 31 minutes, making him the first person with Down syndrome to complete an Ironman championship race. But in addition to wanting to inspire others, Chris also had a little extra motivation to wanting to finish strong. He wanted to get to the finish line on time because he was gonna give his girlfriend a promise him. And so there was nothing that was gonna get in the way of Chris getting to the finish line on time. And that's, I think, how Chris had that smile on his face the whole time because he knew something special, someone special was waiting for him. After silencing all the doubters, Chris hopes his accomplishments encourage others with Down syndrome to push themselves beyond what others think they can do. Our kids are the most loving, most non-judgmental, most inclusive people you'll ever meet in your life. My message to everyone is, hopefully Chris and others like Chris are showing you what our kids are capable of, and they are not the exception, they are the rule. Now, what are the rest of us gonna do about that? Falling in love, completing Ironman races, and motivational speaking are just a few of the magnificent things Chris has been able to achieve. But what he's really done is proved to the rest of the world that there truly is nothing down about it. I'm slow. I'm brave. I can do anything.